Well, hello. What brings you to see me today? If there's anything weighing on your mind, you can always talk to me. I'm always happy to listen to other people's problems. Who knows? I might even try to help you come up with a solution. Thank you for your concern, dear. But believe me, I am quite comfortable wherever I go. So, this must be an adept I abode. Hmm. Though it's a bit different from what I had imagined, it's still most fascinating. At first glance, the act of containing this vast space inside a tiny little teapot seems strikingly similar to the art of constructing a space from the imagination. But as it turns out, they work on fundamentally different principles. As Guji of the Grand Narukami Shrine, it is my duty to seek out and master all forms of knowledge and power. Only then am I capable of handling whatever phenomena come our way. <laughs> Besides, if I can get the hang of this teapot trick, I'll be able to bring an unlimited supply of sake and snacks with me wherever I go. <laughs> Regardless, please do look after me while I'm visiting this lovely little teapot of yours. Need someone to talk to, hmm? Oh, what's the matter? Are you feeling lonely? Well, as luck would have it, I happen to be in a good mood today. How about I tell you a story from long ago, hmm? Long, long ago, there was a little child who suddenly turned up at the shrine one day. In her arms, she was carrying a little fox on the brink of death. She knelt before Kitsune Saigu and begged her to save her friend. The child said the fox had started appearing frequently in the village ever since she had fed it some fried tofu. But it wasn't long before misfortune struck. Now that the fox had let down its guard, a vicious dog from the village seized the chance to attack, delivering a near-fatal bite. Heartbroken and riddled with guilt, the child decided to bring the injured fox to the shrine for help. Kitsune Saigu granted her request and agreed to nurse the little fox back to health. Worried that the little girl would be lonely without her companion, Kitsune Saigu decided to ask another member of her kin to keep the little girl company for a few days. I was the one she asked. Well, obviously, being the fabulously beautiful fox that I am, it wasn't long before the little girl was crazy about me. Not only would she buy me all sorts of tasty treats to eat, she would pamper me day in and day out. She always wanted me by her side, even when she was sleeping. After two days, the little fox had recovered and I accompanied the girl back to the shrine. Upon our arrival, Kitsune Saigu asked the girl which fox was her favorite. The one she had made friends with originally? Or the new one? She hesitantly looked back and forth between me and her old fox friend. But when her own fox trotted up and whimpered to her, she finally set me down. The fox you gave me is very beautiful, Miss Shrine Maiden, but I still love my old friend the most. Finally, the child offered some fried tofu to thank me for accompanying her, then left with her little fox friend. Hmm? Wait a moment, child. You're not planning to just leave it at that, are you? Come on, I've told you my story. Now it's your turn. Shouldn't you offer me something in exchange? Hmm, I suppose that will do. But could you try to spice it up a bit? Tell it as if it were a bestseller from Yai Publishing House. Now it's your turn. Hmm, now you're talking. All right, I'll wait for you here. Make it quick, though. I can tell you some other stories when you return. Hmm, no. <laughs> Not the answer you were expecting to hear, hmm? Oh, the look of stunned surprise on your face. I think it might be my favorite. No, actually I wasn't. Or to put it another way, seeing your reaction was exactly what I wanted to do. Observing humans' reactions and reading about their lives are what interest me most in this world. In principle, I should remain an outside observer. But you are far too much fun for that. I can't help but tease you from time to time. 
Hmm, but of course. If you liken human lives to light novels, every one has its highlights, but also inevitably has many aspects that are similar to all the others. As an observer, I get to see the similarities all the time, which naturally leaves me desiring to see something more unique. Your story is one that has captivated me. I really do have high hopes for you. Please do your best to live up to them, child. Don't you worry. You still have a long journey ahead of you. Your story has only just begun. Besides, you'll always have me as your trusty editor, won't you? Whenever you start going off on a misguided tangent, I'll correct you. And if you're ever stuck in a rut, I'll give you a little nudge towards the next chapter. That should certainly help you on your journey, don't you agree? Good morning. My, by the looks of you, you must have had a very pleasant dream last night. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, with fortune swinging your way, no doubt. You should follow your heart today, and fate might just reward you for it. All right, off to bed now. Youngsters like you should keep early hours. What about me? Oh, I'm staying up to have a drink or two, maybe read a couple of interesting light novels. You weren't seriously thinking of joining me for the whole night, were you? <laughs>